Hello, welcome back to my Fairy Traveler's Notebook series. Um, one of my videos in this series is about making a cover because you know the, the uh, Traveler's Notebook that I'm using is a leather one that I bought from Pell Studio on Etsy shop and I will give you the link down below to their, um, to their covers. But I know that that leather uh, is not in everyone's um, list of options. And so I'm trying to give you other ideas for covers as well. So I have one in the series that's about gluing the cardstock onto foam and, and then making a notebook cover out of that. So this one, I have designed a scalloped um, notebook. And so you can probably see there's the three holes here, the one in the center and the three holes here, and it's scalloped. Now, this would need to be laminated, or you can use the self-adhesive laminating sheets. So either one, I'm going to open this up, my little laminating pouch, if I can get it open, slide this in and laminate it, and then we will come back and take a look at that. Okay, here we go. Okay, I'm really excited. I think this is adorable. Oh my gosh. Okay, so let's bring this in and look at it closely, see if I can show this here. So you can see the little air pocket right there. You want to cut beyond that. If you want to try and get a smaller air pocket, what you can do is to take your flat iron and go right up to the edge of the paper and go all the way around that, and that will help seal it. But you need to uh, keep it on low temperature and work rather quickly. Hey, it's so cute. Now, if you knew ahead of time that you were going to score this instead of just using it like this uh, as a notebook cover, you could have scored the um, right side up, score the cardstock, and then laminate it in the score again right over that. I'm not sure that I'm going to do that. I do need to punch my holes here, though. And I, uh, in the file here, for this pattern, I have these holes at the 1 8 inch um, size, which is exactly what I have my Crocodile Big Bite set at right now. So I'm just going over that to get the holes repunched since I laminated over my existing holes. Now, um, because it's laminated and this is pretty sturdy, you don't have to uh, put eyelets in there, but I like the look of eyelets, so I will probably put eyelets in there. Let me go pick a color out. Okay, sorry for all that glare. I can't help it. Um, I am looking at this. I have a couple. This is a, a teal color, but it leans toward the green, and this is a turquoise. It's a very light turquoise blue think I, and I do have a purple, um, I think I'm going to go, oh, and there's a darker one here. Now I realize that I have shown um, the lacing of these elastics in my other videos. However, um, it can get very confusing and you may think that you need to keep watching the video over and over again to get it or understand it, but I have a hint for you. Let me move this so it's the glare is off and then I'll show you on this here. If we take the, um, here we go. If we take this cover and turn it this way, what you're going to see is three holes here and three holes there. So roughly like this. And don't worry about the one in the center. That's for something else. I want you to think about making a figure eight with your, um, with your uh, elastic. So you would start here and go like this. and then you would tie a knot right there. Okay, so think of that as a figure eight. So that's what we're going to do by starting on the back. 
we're going to start here, go down here, up here, and just keep going back and forth like that until we meet ourselves right here and tie that in a knot. The first question is going to be elastic. Now I know I need to get some more colors because I have the white, which would look fine. And then my others are pastel colors, the pink, the blue, and the lavender. Get that glare off of there. So the lavender would definitely look cute with that. And the blue would. And the pink, which I haven't used yet. There's actually no pink in here. It's kind of deceptive. I mean, except for, well, I guess there are. It's the accents on the flowers. Oh my goodness. Well, I think I'm going to use the pink just because I want that contrast this time. So let's put this in here and let's get started. Okay, so we're going to turn it over and we're going to start there. Okay, so I had a problem here in that right in the middle of my video, it cut off recording. So I was explaining how you're going to do the figure eight with your elastic. And so I numbered them one, two, three, four, five, six, seven, and eight. And we were just getting ready to get started, but it cut off the recording and I was done threading the elastic. So what I did was I made another one, and this one is the um, the, pay, the cardstock Mod Podged onto Foam. And I will give you the link below to this specific video. It's still in my Fairy Notebook, um, Traveler's Notebook series, but it's a specific one that you might want to go to right away to see about putting it on foam. I love this one. So we are going to thread this one uh, with the elastics because I really wanted you to see if we're doing the figure eight, how easy that is. And the first thing we need to do is grab the elastic and kind of measure that out. So if you have, we're gonna start here and do our knot and then we need to go down, cross, up, Try not to pull the elastic tight when you're measuring, even though it, uh, you will be pulling it tight when you are, um, when you're going ahead and tie the knot. Okay, so we start at one and go down. That's the only thing you need to remember is that you need to start in the back. I like to start in the back right, um, and then two. So we're gonna we're gonna do the excuse me. We're gonna do the figure eight. So that means we need to come up there. So if you went down one hole, you come up the next, and you're gonna find that you need to trim your elastic off now and then because it gets a little um, fuzzy. Okay, figure eight. This is really needing to be trimmed quickly, okay. Now it's this one. Okay, we're still doing the figure eight, so now we're going up to the top. I'm finding I'm having to trim this off almost every time. It might just be this elastic, and I could go ahead and seal the end off, that may help. Okay, so we're doing this. We're going back, back this way. This is where it gets tricky. We need to go back into a hole we've already done. And so I've been showing how I use um, button thread because it's thicker than regular thread. And if you put it in the hole you want to go into and in the same direction. I'm just pulling the elastic off to the side so I can get this thread in there and pull it almost all the way through, except leaving a little loop through which we're going to thread this and then pull that, oh, oh <laughs> and it came out. There you go, and now pull the thread from the back and pull it until that comes out. Okay, so now we need to go down here, so it's the same principle, we've got to go do this again. Going down, one hole that's already been used already. Okay, those were the only two difficult ones. And It 
which means we need to figure out how long that's going to be. And it's going to go around here and enough for a knot. Now this one I do pull snug. Okay, so this one, we want to come through the back. And I like to pull this right into the middle of the elastic like this. Here we go. And don't pull it all the way, just pull it part way through. Now I like to also stick my scissors in there so I don't pull it back out while I'm tying this knot here. What I like about the scallop is that the um, the elastic goes right in between those two scallops, which is perfect. It keeps it lined up. Very cute. Oh my goodness, I love this foam one. It is so adorable. Okay, guys, thank you so much for watching. I hope that explained that better for you. Just remember, it's a figure eight. You never have to stop and rewatch the video if you just always think figure eight. Remember to seal the ends of these so that they don't keep fraying like that. And thank you so much for watching and make sure you look at all the video description underneath this video.